Okay, well, hmm, where to begin with this one? I mean, it was just really, really well done. That's basically the video over, so thanks for watching. Wait, actually, no, no, don't go. There's still more I have to talk about. So, this is just so much better than I could have hoped for. So, my name is Adzi, and today we're going to be talking about the Final Fantasy VII Remake demo, so let's jump in. If any of you have watched my one JRPG a month video, you'll know that Final Fantasy VII was my game for February, so the original is fresh in my mind. I've been radio silence on the remake since the release of the new trailers, I haven't watched any and I've only seen a few screenshots on Reddit and that. So I knew what Cloud, Eris and Barrett looked like, but that is the extent of my knowledge before I played this demo. Now before we jump into the game, I just have to say one thing about the demo, and it's just so great that Square have the ball to release one for the game. Very few devs do it nowadays and it shows a real confidence in their product, and the confidence certainly isn't misplaced. Now Tetsuya Nomura, many of you will know him from Kingdom Hearts, but he's also worked on many other Square games, including the original Final Fantasy VII. I think it's really important to talk about him first, because he was there in the 90s making the original game, so he would understand the vision of the original better than most. And let me just say, it's so well realised in the demo. Everything from the music, wait, actually hold the rest of that sentence, the music is just sublime. Now obviously this is the same in the original, but the orchestral music just packs a way bigger punch. Some of the tracks from the PlayStation Classic are perfectly recreated and it just feels so much more epic. Okay, so now into the game. The intro sequence is pretty similar, the train moving into the station, Shinra soldiers waiting for the Avalanche members jumping off the train. Barrett looks really badass and Jesse looks really cool too. I think Wedge and Biggs just look kind of ridiculous actually, but you can't win them all. I just think they look more cartoony than the other characters on show in the demo. Now enter Cloud. His design has always been great, and the Buster Sword looks fantastic in 1080p. I only noticed this one thing in the demo that I never noticed in the original Buster Sword design, and that is that there's materia slots in the handle. It's just something really cool that I never even noticed. And another thing, Barrett calls Mako Mako, which is weird, but obviously that's the intended pronunciation, but I always call it Mako, and I will always still call it Mako. So, speaking of the voice acting, it certainly sounds a bit weird in places. From the few lines of the demo, some are written and delivered well, but other parts lack the complexity and delivery. This may have been okay back in the late 90s, but in comparison to the games of this era, it's hard not to notice the few shortcomings. One of my main worries going forward is that the heartfelt moments of the original will be held back by stilted dialogue and delivery. The camera pans away at certain sections to establish the angle that was present in the original game, and it's such a great choice because it really makes you see the difference over the past 20 years or so. But it's not all good with the camera, this is easily the most disappointing part of the demo. The camera zoomed in very close to Cloud and it struggles with its surroundings. There were a few times where it would clip off a wall or an object in the game world and would start to have a fit before it goes back to its normality. It's something that can be fixed and I hope the Square do on the final release. Now we'll talk about one enemy design just to kind of get a grasp of how things have changed. And I really think that this enemy design is fantastic, and that is the Death Machines. They look amazing in the remake, and I can actually draw a parallel with these enemies and one of the most annoying enemies in Kingdom Hearts 2, the Hot Rod. But Back on track, the opening sequence as far as the art and presentation go is really well realised in this demo and it really launches the classic into a new generation. The combat is the part many, myself included, have been hyped for the most. In my old age of 21, nearly 22 years on this planet, I began to fall out of love with turn-based combat. Something that I struggled with in the original, but more on that in my JRPG video for February. I feel there are plenty of old game design tropes that are, for the most part, better left in the past, and I think Square realised this. You can see this in the action combat of Final Fantasy XV and VII Remake, and let me just say, they've done an absolutely fantastic job with the Final Fantasy VII Remake combat. Apart from the camera jank, the combat is just so fluid and meaty I guess is the word. You feel the weight of every single one of Cloud's hits, especially when you're using your special abilities. From what little I've played, it feels like the best parts of the Kingdom Hearts combat with a slightly slower, more methodical tactic system, but not too slow that it feels boring. Barrett is also fully playable in the demo, and he controls completely different to Cloud. His arm cannon lacks a punch until you send it into overdrive mode. He serves a better purpose though, to clear the room of ranged enemies that Cloud can't deal with. I just can't wait to control all the other characters in the same vein, especially Red 13. I can't really say much else other than Square have done an unbelievably good job at delivering on this impossible task. So far, in anyways, it could completely fall short in the full release. We'll find out soon enough, I guess. But thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Twitter and Instagram, where you can see gaming pictures and pictures of my cute dog as well. The response to my last video was absolutely fantastic, and I'm so happy. See you all on the next video.